Good morning, children. I hope you had a lovely week. Before we go into this lesson, let's pray. Bow down your head and close your eyes. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for all the past lessons we have, we have been doing. I set our tongues and praises. Holy Spirit, come and teach us this lesson. And give, give us that motivation, give us that zeal, give us that hunger to share your good news for this our Savior. Come and bless us, bless our mommy, bless our friends, bless our teachers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Children, let's take our Bible. Before we read our Bible, Lord, the angel of the Lord came up upon them. The and the glory of the the Lord shone around about them. Luke Luke two verse nine. We see there are different ways that we can tell people about our Savior about jesus about what we, what, we, what we are enjoying now when we this is what god wants us to do to tell the good news to tell people about him this is our savior we have highway here we can use different things highway we can use leafleting can give people this going to boss and so on you can share this you can give your ticket if they like all this you can use your mobile phone call a friend tell the friend what you know about jesus how jesus has helped you you can use your mouth to talk that's testimony what jesus has done for you and they will hear you will say who is this your savior you can use your own self your action your behavior in playground in the school teacher will ask you do you go to church you also say telling people about your savior now let's know how this our savior is born take up your bible let's read look from the book of luke chapter 2 verse 8 to 20 but we only go to read some selected verses there 10 11 and 16. open your bibles let's read along with us verse 10 and the angel said unto them fear not for behold i bring you good tidings of great joy we shall be to all people 11 for unto you is born this day in the city of david a savior which is christ the lord 16 and they came with haste and found mary and joseph and the babe lying in a manger let's put your bible aside now, from our booklet, we see that shepherd, they were attending their flock at night on the hillside, and they saw shiny, shiny lights everywhere. They were surprised. They said, what is this? What is this? As soon as the angel spoke to them said today go a savior a baby is born in bethlehem and you will find the baby in a major go 
You see, Savior of the whole world. They look at each other, the shepherd. As soon as that news went, come and see the angels. The angel said, Oh, glory to God in highest. They were worshiping, they were praising, they were praising, they were praising. The shepherd looked to each other. He said, Now, that's a message. We have to go. We have to go. They left everything and went. The Savior, who is Christ the Lord, is born in Bethlehem. The angel asked us to go to Bethlehem. Let's go and see the newborn baby. Yay! Let's, yay! Let's go. Let's go. They didn't keep quiet. Told everybody their eyes have seen the Savior of the world. Their eyes have seen the baby. Their eyes have seen the baby. In my eyes, I've seen the newborn baby. I've, I've seen him as I've, I've seen the Savior. Yay! Who is this Savior? The Savior is coming to save us, take all our sins away. All our sins is going. The sins of all the naughty things we do, if we accept Jesus, Jesus come into my heart. And tell Jesus everything that you've done, the naughty things. I will, I will do that again. You won't do it again. Jesus will come into your heart. You will know the Savior very well. Then you will know how to tell people about the Savior. We also mentioned about the shepherd. We see the shepherd. They were ready. They believe. Yes. They could have gone tell someone else. Why did the angel not tell someone or tell the wood tell someone? No. Because God sees your heart. God sees my heart. God sees the shepherd's heart. That they were ready and they were the only one who will go and tell, take this news. As soon as, you know, when they got there, when they got to the major, they saw Mary and Joseph. Ah, <laughs> there you go. When they saw Mary and Joseph, they told Mary everything. Mary kept it in her heart. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Mary was a pounder, was taking, put it in her heart, get it, yes, because that's the savior of the world, that's a big job, who come and take up my sin, your sins, take it away, if, if you tell Jesus, you are going to accept Jesus, tell the savior, you need the savior, From this our lesson, we now know that it is very important to obey because if the shepherd ha couldn't obey or did not obey that day or to postpone it or later, later, I uh, will do it. Someone else will just do it. So it's very important to obey. When mommy, daddy, 
teachers in the church. Someone talk to you to do something. Do it. Obey. That's what we learn. And they wouldn't have be able to see Jesus, the Savior. They wouldn't have been able to see that baby. But they use their eye to see. So it is good to be. Tell people, and when they came, what did you learn again? You learned that it's good to talk, tell people, tell people, tell people about Jesus. Our key statement is talk about Jesus. Talk about Jesus. Don't keep it to yourself. Tell people. Don't use this mouth for something that you say, no, 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 that is not good to hear. Use it for Jesus. Tell people what Jesus has done for you. Tell your neighbors. That's what we are taking home today. And don't forget your action. The way you talk to people. They will even ask you. The way you behave, people will ask you. Do you go to church? What church do you go to? Activity. From ages 2 to 5. Find the angels who told of Jesus' birth. Homework for ages 6 to 8. Help the angels find their way to the maids to the shepherds. Then help the shepherds find their way to the manger. And our next lesson, the topic is Lesson 16C, titled Born in Bethlehem. Have a great week. Once again to answer class we we'll listen to our memory verse obey them that have rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch for your souls Hebrews 13 17 God bless you the title of our lesson states warning signs our Bible text is taken from Ezekiel 33 verses 1 to 11 and Jeremiah 3 verse 15. We'll read selected verses. Shall we take our Bibles and read Jeremiah 33 verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Turn to Ezekiel 33 verse 7. So thou, O son of man, I have set a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. Boys and girls, let's watch this clip.
warning signs. These are highway warning signs composed of traffic lights and some other warning signs. If you don't hit to those, your safety will be pro compromised. If you don't hit to those warning signs, you have no protection on the road. You may not reach your destination. You may die. You may be injured. You need to obey the highway warning signs wherever you go. <clears throat> Today, the warning signs are from God himself. How fortunate we are. God wants all of us to go to heaven. So we want to heed to God's warning signs. So to understand our lesson, we want to look at some questions. The first question is, what is a minister? From our Bible text, from what I guess you have been reading home, the ministers are those God-chosen people who are ordained of God. They carry the word of God. They feed us with the word of God. It is through them that we know what the word of God says he wants us to be. What a warning sign. The word of God in our Bible text enjoins us that we need to obey those who are in authority. Ministers are in authority. They take care of our spiritual welfare. And we need to submit. We need to obey. We need to listen and do what they say the word of God wants us to be. It's a warning sign to us. Question number two. In what way is a minister like a watchman on the wall? As you read from our Bible text in the Old Testament, laws and prophets were put in place so that people will know what God wants from them. So it is in our day, in our generation, right now ministers they watch over our soul in our story lesson we are told that uh, the highway signs they protect us from getting into danger they are safety means so that when we walk about we are able to arrive safely in our destination so it is with the ministers. They are ordained of, they, ordained of God. They carry the word of God. They watch over our souls. The Bible tells us that they are accountable for our souls. We have read that uh, in Ezekiel uh, 33 verse 17. That they will give account. At the end of this life, they will give account whether they have taught us the word of God. And we, listeners, you and me, God wants us to listen and act on that word of God which comes from the ministers. It is God saying how fortunate we are. God wants to protect us. God wants to see us in heaven. So the ministers are 
day to provide and feed us with the word of God. Question three. What is the key to being able to submit to authority? Just like as we read from the warning signs and as we read from the word of God, if we submit to those who have got to rule over us, God will bless us. It is a blessing. When the word of God says we need to be saved, sanctified, and baptized, if we do those things, God will command a blessing. And above all, heaven will be our destination. It will prevent us from eternal, everlasting death. God will command a blessing of everlasting life onto our lives. So we need to heed to that warning sign. Next question. Is it a natural thing to want to obey those who have the rule over you? Why? Or why not? Answer. It's not. It is so difficult. This carnal mind even at your schools, I'm sure, they tell you that you have to question authority. It's not natural. That is why the word of God comes to tame this heart, to tame this mind. It is through the word of God, which is brought to us by those who have got rule over our spiritual soul, that obedience to authority commands a blessing. The word of God uh, enjoins us that if we ignore authority, it won't be good for us. Authority is there for our own good and God commands that those who are put, who are ordained to rule over our soul, we need to heed, we need to action the words which they give to us and that is the safest way that is where we get our protection ministers are there to point us to heaven and they sometimes give the word of god in the same way over and over just like as you are walking about you will see the road signs everywhere sometimes the same thing over and over it is for your own good so today as we heed to warning signs, to the physical warning signs, we need to heed to the ministry's word of God. It is for our own good. I want us to take home this statement that today I will obey. And that will be your blessing. Wouldn't you want to be saved, sanctified? and baptized with the Holy Ghost and live for God at such a young age. God wants us to know his word. God wants us to know his precepts at a young age. Aren't you fortunate? Please do obey the word of God. Our activities trace the words of Hebrews 13, 17 through the maze. Next week's lesson is Lesson 120, titled, A Letter from God. Shall we pray? Father, I want to thank you for bringing this message, for bringing this lesson that we need to obey those who rule over us. Help us, Lord, to do just that. We want to get to heaven. Thank you for the warning signs. We want to heed to your word, Lord. Make that possible. Save us, Lord. Bless the primary power. Be with us all the way through as we grow up. Help us, Lord. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye.